Now, if you ever wondered how they make copper, well, get ready because today we're going to go inside the concentrator and learn how it's done. Now, let's throw the hard hat on and go up top. Okay, from here you can get a great overview of this massive copper concentrator. All of the raw ore delivered by mining trucks passes through primary and secondary crushers. It then travels by belt line and falls down on sets of wet and dry vibrators, which you can see right down there. From there, the ore enters the ball mill, grinders, and cyclones, which you can see over there. This is actually the largest concentrator of its kind in the world. The plant combines with a second larger facility, giving it the ability to process in excess of 460,000 tons of copper ore each day. Now, we're gonna go down inside the plant soon, but first, take a look behind me here. This big machine is called a belt tripper, and it transfers and feeds the raw crushed ore into four fine ore bins, where the ore then is screened before entering the grinders. Pretty cool, huh? This is one of the big ball mill grinders that you see right here. There are four of these in this concentrator, and these grind the ore and rock down to a fine sand. From here, the ore then travels to the cyclones and the flotation circuit. Depending on the copper content within the rock determines how the ore should be processed. Primary copper sulfides cannot be efficiently extracted by leaching and instead are extracted by flotation. These are the flotation tanks and how they work is very simple. The pulverized ore is mixed with chemicals to create a froth which will then float the copper off and allow the rock particles to sink. When the froth dries, it will leave behind a fine black powder containing between 20 to 30 percent copper. Now copper oxides and secondary copper sulfides, which are the lower grade ores, cannot be floated. They require a process called leaching in order to be extracted. This is one of the leaching pads that you see right here, and here the pulverized ore is mixed in an aqueous solution containing sulfuric acid, which passes through the material and extracts the copper ions. From the leaching pads, the pregnant leach solution, as it is called, is pumped here. This is the solvent extraction facility, and this is where the copper is transformed to its organic phase. Let's go and take a look. These are the mixer settlers, and inside of here, a chemical reaction causes the copper to transform from the pregnant leach solution to the organic phase, which is then separated from the acid, which gets recycled, back to the leach pads. The copper is now transformed from organic to the electrolyte phase, before passing on to the final phase of copper processing. This is the electro-winning tank house, and it is here where the real magic happens. The overhead crane that you see is pulling out sheets of pure copper. Let's go and see how this happens. The copper electrolyte solution is heated and filtered before being pumped into the liberator cells, one of which you can see here. Inside of these cells, an electric current is applied to the solution, 
which causes the copper to dissolve from the anode and then plate itself in its pure metal form to the cathode sheets, which are also called the starter sheets, which you can see right here. These are made of stainless steel and lowered by the crane into the solution for the copper cathodes to bind to. And this process is what you call electro-winning. Here you can see a set of clean starter sheets being lowered into the solution. And once an adequate amount of copper cathodes have plated themselves to the sheets, they are hoisted out, rinsed off, and then the copper sheets are removed and ready for market. Here you can see some of the finished copper sheets, ready to get packed. They look awesome, don't they?
and voila, we have just refined copper. And here you can see the finished bound sheets of copper ready to get shipped out all over the world. And if you enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it, be sure to join the PA for more mining action.